right, good morning, Wesley and Ashlyn. Um, time for our language class. So I need you guys to go ahead and get out your language books. <clears throat> and um, yesterday we began talking about um, our subject and predicate, the two parts of the sentence. I'm sorry, I just got done with the other language class and my brain was stuck there for a minute. Um, the subject and the predicate part of the sentence. So every sentence has two parts, the subject part of the sentence, which, comp which contains the subject, then the predicate part of the sentence, which contains the verb. So um, we talked about how when we divide between the subject and predicate, we will always put our vertical line right um, right before the verb. If our sentence was the dog ran through the field, our verb is ran, who or what ran dog, our vertical line will always go in front of the verb, okay? Um, so that is how we, we will divide between our subject and our predicate. Um, open your language books to page 105. On page 105 on Think F, you will be doing that as, an, as your interactive worksheet today. So you'll be doing that in just a little bit after your language video. Um, go ahead and look at Think G on page 105. We're going to draw a vertical line between the subject and the predicate. The horses ran swiftly. I think it's easier if we go ahead and underline our verb twice, underline our subject once. That's just, uh, visuals work better for me. Um, so that's how we're going to do it, okay? And then you guys will draw your vertical line right in front of your verb. The horse ran swiftly. Ran is our verb. Who or what ran? Horses. We will put our vertical line right before the word ran. My sister is very tiny and very pretty. So our verb is is who or what is sister is our subject our vertical line will go right before the word is um i want to make sure y'all understand my sister i'm just going to write is pretty is pretty is is our verb sister is our subject it goes before the word sister. We read this way, so this is before the word, or before the verb. We read this way, so our vertical line comes before the verb, okay? Um, the party was a big success. Was is our verb. Who or what was party. We put our line before was. The Lone Ranger's silver was a beautiful horse. Um, was is our verb, who or what was silver. So our vertical line goes right in front of was. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, freezes is our verb, water is our subject. We divide our subject and predicate right before the word freezes. The wind whistled around the houses and through the trees. Whistled is our verb, who or what whistled wind. We draw our vertical line between the um, right before the word whistled. One hour contains 60 minutes. 60 is our verb. Who or what contains hour? We, draw, we separ separate our subject and predicate um, by drawing a vertical line before the word contains. The beautiful red leaves are falling from the maple trees. Are falling is the verb. Who or what are falling? Leaves. And we draw our vertical line right before the verb are falling. Red juicy strawberries taste delicious for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Taste is our verb. Who or what taste? Strawberries. We draw our vertical line to divide the subject and predicate right before the word taste. The night was peaceful and still. Was is our verb. Who or what was? Night. We draw our vertical line to separate the subject and predicate right before the word was. The ocean liner sailed to Morocco at dawn. Sailed is our verb. Who or what sailed? Liner is our subject. We draw our vertical line right before the word sailed. 
The Rockies are extremely high mountains. R is our verb. Who or what are Rockies? We draw our vertical line to separate the subject and predicate part of our sentence right before the word R. Football is the favorite sport of many boys. Um, is is our verb. Who or what is football? We, do, we draw our vertical line before the word is to separate the subject and predicate part of our sentence. I was home all last night. Was is our verb. Who or what was I? We draw our vertical line right before the word was. Only one tree was blown down by the hurricane. Was blown is our verb. Who or what was blown? Tree. So we draw our vertical line right um, before the word was. All right, go ahead and turn to page 106. There's a really cool little poem here, um, a definition jingle. I'll let you guys read that on your own, but that's talking about all the different parts of speech um, that we are going, we won't get, get through all of them before this year ends, but we certainly could carry on through the summer um, if your parents would like you to, but we'll get through as many of them as possible. Um, on page 107, the first part of speech that we are going to begin talking about is the verb. Now within the predicate part of your sentence, you have a simple predicate. So the predicate part of our sentence is ran through the field. Um, the word ran is our verb. So the actual verb in the sentence can be referred to as the simple predicate, okay? This is the whole predicate, ran through the field. Some people like things simple. This is the simple predicate, the verb, okay? Um, my sister is pretty. Is pretty is the predicate part of our sentence. The simple, predi the simple predicate is just the verb, is. Okay, makes sense, doesn't it? All right, so that's that. So um, every sentence has to have a verb. If your sentence does not have a verb, it's not a sentence, it's just a group of words. It would be a fragment. So we, right now we are going to look for verbs that show action. Verbs can do different things. The words that we're looking for right now are action verbs. The teacher helped me. What did the teacher stand up and do? It's something you can stand up and do as an action, action verb. They helped. Um, the dog licked my face. Licked is something you could stand up and do. You probably wouldn't want to, but that makes it an action verb because you can stand up and do it. I did my best. You can stand up and do something, right? So did is our action verb. Now look at the pictures below. And um, we are going to write a word in each blank that tells the action taking place. So what is that um, big bird doing there? It is sweeping. Sweeping is an action verb. And actually, um, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and fill those in on your own. You can come back after our video and finish that section up right A. Go ahead and look at think B. Um, now see if you can find the verb in a sentence. Um, so the boys played ball together. Played is our verb, just our verb, and who or what played? Boys. So if you notice, they underlined our verb and they still divided the subject and predicate part of the sentence and put the S and the P above it. Um, what, um, okay, Tom thought of the answer. It says what word in the predicate shows something that can be done? Thought. And then who or what thought? Tom. So thought is our verb. Underline it twice, and um, Tom is our subject. The fireman rescued the kitchen. What is something that can be done? Rescuing. So rescued is our verb. Underline it twice. And who are what rescued? The fireman. Um, go ahead and turn to page 108. It says underline the verb two times in each sentence. Look for the word in the predicate, which shows something that can be done. Salmon swim upstream. Look in the predicate part of the sentence. What is the simple predicate or the verb? Swim. Very good. Underline it twice. We raked the yard for mother. Um, look in the predicate part of the sentence. And what is the verb? Something you can stand up and do. Shows action. Raked. Very good. 
Caroline took piano lessons for four years. Look at the predicate part of your sentence. What is our verb? Something you can do. Took, very good. My father and brothers enjoy baseball games. What is the predicate part of your sentence? Enjoy baseball games. What's something in there you can do? You can enjoy, that is your action verb. Jesus died on the cross for us. Look in your predicate and the action verb is died, very good. Look at think B, draw a line between the subject and the predicate and underline the verb two times. Our feet sank in the, in the wet snow of spring. So what is um, our, who is our sentence about? Our feet, and what did our feet do? Sank in the snow of spring. So we're gonna divide before the word sank, and our verb is, in the predicate, something we can do, sank, underline it twice. My brother and I looked for maple trees. Um, who was our sentence about? My brother and I. And what did we do? We looked. So you're going to draw your vertical line before looked. And the, pre and the verb in your predicate is looked. Dad made a hole in the trunk of each maple tree. Who was our sentence about? Dad. And what did Dad do? He made a hole in the trunk of each maple tree. So you're going to draw your vertical line before the word made. And what is your verb? Made. We attach a bucket by we attached a bucket by each hole. Who is the sentence about? We. And what did we do for the predicate part? We attached a bucket by each hole. And what is the verb in the predicate that you're going to underline twice? Attached. Sna sap inside the trees flowed slowly on into the buckets. Um, who is our who or what is our sentence about? Sap. And what did the sap do? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Who or what is our sentence about? Sap inside the trees. And what did the sap inside the trees do? It flowed slowly out of the buckets. So your vertical line will go in front of the word flowed. That is the predicate part of our sentence. The subject part, sap inside the trees. The predicate part, flowed slowly out into the buckets. What is the verb in the predicate part? Flowed, underline it twice. My brother and I collected sap from the buckets each day. <clears throat> um, who or what is our sentence about? My brother and I, that's the subject part. And what did we do? Collected sap from the buckets each day. Draw your vertical line right in front of the word collected. And what is something that you can do? Collect, so that is our verb. Dad boiled the thin sap. Who or what is our sentence about? Dad. And what did dad do? He boiled the thin sap. Boiled the thin sap is the predicate part of your sentence. Put your vertical line in front of boiled and underline your verb, boiled. The sap cooked for many hours. Who or what is our sentence about? The sap, the predicate part. What did the sap do? It cooked for many hours. Draw your vertical line before the word cooked and your verb is cooked. All of us stirred the hot, thick, liquid. The subject part of our sentence is, who or what is the sentence about? All of us. And what did all of us do? Stirred the hot, thick liquid. Stirred the hot, thick liquid is the predicate part of your sentence. Draw your vertical line before the word stirred. And our verb is stirred. Underline it twice. The maple syrup tasted delicious. Who or what is our sentence about? The maple syrup. That's the subject part of our sentence. What did the maple syrup do? It tasted delicious. That is the predicate part of our sentence. Draw your vertical line before the word tasted and underline your verb two times, which is tasted. Very good. Look at think C. And this one, it just says underline the verb two times. Um, an ugly duckling hatched out of the last egg. What is our verb? Something you can do. It is hatched, very good, underline it twice. The other ducks teased the ugly duckling. What is our sentence about? The other ducks, what did the other ducks do? They teased, teased is our, is our action verb, underline it twice. Even his sisters and brothers chased him. Well, who is our sentence about? 
his sisters and brothers. And what did they do? They chased. Chased is our action verb. Underline it twice. The ugly duckling left his home. Who or what is our sentence about? The ugly duckling. And what did the ugly duckling do? He left. Left is our action verb. The duckling lived with a woman and a cat and a hen. Who or what is our sentence about? It's about the duckling. And what did the duckling do? He lived. Lived is our action verb. The sad duckling wanted fresh air instead of a house. What is our, who or what is our sentence about? The sad duckling. And what did the sad duckling do? He wanted. Wanted is our verb. Underline it twice. The ugly duckling swam very well. Who or what is our sentence about? The ugly duckling. And what did the ugly duckling do? He swam. Swam is our action verb. Underline it twice. A peasant rescued him from the cold and ice. Who or what is our sentence about? A peasant. And what did the peasant do? He rescued. Rescued is our verb. Underline it twice. In the spring, the ground bird saw his reflection in the winter. Think before you answer this one. Who or what is our sentence about? It is about the ground bird. It's not about the spring. And then what did the ground bird do? He saw. So saw is your action verb. Underline it twice. The other swans bowed to the beautiful new swan in their lake. Um, who or what is our sentence about? The other swans. And what did they do? They bowed. Very good. So bowed is your action verb. Underline it twice. So you will go ahead and complete um, your interactive worksheet. And you will be done with your language after you complete that. And I will see y'all in math class.